Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Jacobs. I'm a doctor of physical therapy and I'm the inventor of advanced soft tissue release as their specialty. I'm also a cancer survivor and I used to suffer from chronic migraines, headaches, pain and fatigue before I invented Aster specialty. Right, uh, Nicholas, tell me what's going on with your back. Well, my L1, L2, and L5 are herniated. Okay. Um, I'm in a lot of pain. How much food is your two ten? Six. Six, where do you feel? Uh, in the lower left side. Okay. And then I also have an issue in my neck mm -hmm. and then in my traps. So is that six like a constant or comes and goes? It's definitely a constant, but I mean, yes, it does come and go a little bit, but mm -hmm. for the most part, it's always there. So, how did you hurt yourself? What's going on? Well, a car accident when I was younger, when okay. I was 16, okay. and then... How I many years ago? 30, or 16 years ago. 16 years ago, so you had a car accident. Mm -hmm. What happened? How did you hurt yourself in that uh, I rolled four and a half times at 110 miles an hour. You did? Yes, wow. and then I uh -huh. woke up outside, halfway in and halfway outside the car with the roof on my back, or mostly on my shoulders. You know? So, your head was down. It and is. the roof on the top, like right the, on top of me, yes. In here? Yep, and I was laying halfway out of the oh, car. Oh, you survived, my boy. Yeah. Man. Well, you're lucky. lucky. Yeah, but, uh, got a good guardian angel, so yeah, I'm lucky. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so uh, that happened 16 years ago. So, can you tell me what kind of treatment you had after that? I, I did uh, chiropractic care, yeah, I did physical therapy. Physical therapy. One of the best places I found was Spine Zone. Mm -hmm. um, they had a bunch of different machines that but do, you, do you still feel things. pain yes okay so it was not it, it lasting made, it made everything tolerable you know? tolerable but yeah. it's it's not really resolving anything totally I, uh, yes yeah. yes and no a little bit if i stayed at it it would be nicer but it's just like the muscles are too what do tight. you mean to stay at it i i haven't stayed consistent at going three how, how long you've been there uh three years how many times a day uh, how many times a week? I, I used to go three times a week, then it started... For three to, years? Uh, the first year. Oh, then, okay. it, then it was like twice a week, then it became like once every couple of weeks. So. Oh, okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. All right. So, uh, what other treatment you had? Um, just a, a massages. Um, okay, so massage, PT, chiropractor, mm -hmm. what else? Um, hot stone therapy, just... Okay. And then... Just tried doing yoga and other things, but I mean, I've popped my back doing that too. So, okay. So, uh, what aggravate your symptoms? Uh, you know, we know that you, you said like you have a constant pain. Mm -hmm. That's correct. So, what make it worse? By not staying active. <laughs> so it's just one 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 position make it worse. Right, yeah, just by sitting all the time. Sitting all the time. Mm -hmm. What uh, is limited with your function? Do you have problem getting like bending forward, uh, walking, do, standing? What's what's difficult for you to do? I think a lot of it's mental for me actually because I, I feel like I can't do a lot of things because I, I feel like I'm afraid to do it because I'm just afraid to have it pop out or something. Okay. You know? So you you guard it. Yes. Okay. So, uh, okay, let's just stand up. I want to see your range of motion. One second. Uh, I want you actually to bend forward. Let me see how far you can go down. Okay. Just mark in your legs. Like slide your... Okay. Uh, and let's see how far you can go down. That's it? That is how it. much pain you feel from 0 to 10? Oh, God. It, it hurts pretty, like 8, 9. Oh, where do you feel it? Don't aggravate it, okay? Mostly in the hamstrings. In the hamstrings. Yeah, in the hamstrings a little bit in the upper back, but mostly yeah. in the hamstrings and so, the so, so it's like mid, uh, like, and how, um, let's go backward. Okay. I'll go down. No, backward. Okay. Extend. No, 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 no. I'm oh, sorry. Like, like this. I'll go backwards, I'm sorry. That's okay. That's not bad, actually. Twist to the left and right. Stand. Walk backwards? No, while you are straight. So twist left and right. That's not bad. Okay, side bend left and right. So the problem is bending. That, yeah. uh, side bend. Yeah. It, it How much from zero to ten? Um, let's say, I mean, when I go all the way, I mean, we're up there at eight nine. It's just okay. really tight in the. So the tightness front and back, or it's around. It's mostly it is both sides, but most of the problem is off to the left. To the left. Yes. Okay. All right. So we're gonna work on that. All right. So we'll have you have a seat here. Let's take your shirt off. Find your back first. Okay. Okay. 
So everything um, should be pain free. Mm -hmm. So make sure whatever I'm doing is not causing any pain. Okay. Okay. So you said the hip flexors, mm -hmm. you feel pain with that? Yes. Okay, scoot toward me. Just out. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Which one? Left or right? Left. Left is more? Mm -hmm. So you feel the tightness here. Yeah. So you uh, re just remind me, like, or just try to remember. When you had the accident, your head was down. Where's your feet? Or did you like, twist did you, your back? I was kind of twisted because I was still partially in my seatbelt. Oh, okay. Yeah. Man. Make sure this is not painful, okay? I mean, there's a, there's a little bit of pain, but it's nothing that's too serious. Uh, as long as it's not aggravating your symptoms, that's fine. Okay? okay. There's fine line between doing release mm -hmm. and causing trauma. And if you feel pain with any treatment, like manual stuff, mm -hmm. that's causing micro trauma in a healthy tissue. Okay. And that's going to cause a scar tissue. It's a vicious cycle. So we want to make sure the treatment is very gentle. So we're releasing only, not causing a, uh, trauma. Is that too much? That's all right. Sure, it's not your front of this because you could point on the front. Okay, let's uh, lie on your stomach. Okay. Ooh, we'll move to uh, the be closer to the left side. Or yeah, closer to closer to me. So this way we'll put this underneath your head. Make sure you breathe, okay? You're breathing? Yep. Okay. Okay. Let's <clears throat> Is that too much? That's right. You feel this tightness? Uh, that's a fascia tightness. Okay. It should move like this. Feel the movement yeah. here? Okay, that's a normal fascia movement. Feel this? This is not moving much. Uh, yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna release that. What's happening here? There's a scar tissue here. What's going oh, on? Oh, I was uh, bit by a dog. You did? Wow. Well, yeah. Okay. It's a lot of stitches there. Yeah, it was 18 and all that. Yeah. It was pretty gnarly. Yeah. Huh. Too much for mm -hmm. me? Mm -hmm. So you said in the. Let's focus on the back, okay? Okay. Uh, we can do the neck later because you said your back is worse. Yeah. Because. Uh, Sounds like you have a lot going on. What's happening here? You have a lot of scar. Um, so I, I like to smoke a lot of dabs. Uh, and that's for me uh, bringing myself on the hot banger over wow. the, the last eight years. Uh, is uh, that too much for a dab? That's fine. Okay. Yeah, it seems like those muscles down there just stopped moving. It's where they like just fused and stopped. Yeah, you're very limited. So you've been limited like that since the accident sixteen years ago. Pretty okay. much. Well, actually, I was, I was pretty good. Oh, age, uh, hold that again. Sure. age uh, twenty-two, and then it got really bad. Okay. Is that too much? What I'm doing? Oh, no, no, no. Okay. So. You you experienced with PT and chiropractor because you had it for very <laughs> for a long well, years. Yeah. So if you will tell me, can you tell the difference between Aster and what you had before or after the treatment? Okay. I will. Because you know, you tried it all. We're gonna try anything and everything. Okay. Okay. 
So now I actually gonna work on yours. Let me cover one more thing. And then is that too much or it's okay? Yeah, that's fine. You feel the tightness? I feel the tightness, it's all good though. Okay. I feel good. Yeah, that's really tight here, so I'm trying to release it. Yeah, I'm gonna give you an injection, okay? Okay. Not sure. Just uh, okay. You said uh, which Elliot crest you have an issue with, left or right? Left. Okay, so you were saying you feel your uh, um, your pelvis twisted. Yeah. Can you tell me more about this? Um, I, just, I feel like it's rotated this way. I think that's since the accident, yeah? Um, I think that's just what my chiropractor told me. And, that's, um, and you still rotate it? You still feel it's tr it's twisted. I think it is. I, I, just because I feel like the movement uh, restriction. One second. Well, I gotta do a couple of tests to see if you're still twisted. Let me see. You are twisted. This side is higher than this uh, side. That's what I thought. That's yes, yes, work. yes. Yeah. You are. You are twisted. I don't know how easy you can see it in the camera. This is higher than this. And when I palpate here, it's this is off. Yeah, this side is going this way. This side is going this way. It's like um, it's kind of like an uh, half an inch or an inch. I don't know if, if it's if that can be seen in the camera, but it's kind of almost an inch. This pelvis is going superior. It's actually upward. This is going downward, and that's actually. Um, common when someone have a lot of scar tissue and a lot of tightness in the back that one side pull this way so uh, we'll work on it and we'll check it again okay you're gonna work on your scar tissue you're gonna feel cold okay okay You feel that, um, like marbles or rocks in there? Yep. That is a scar tissue. Uh, that's okay. A lot of it. <laughs> it should feel like nice and smooth like this. Feel how nice and smooth here? Uh -huh. It's a little bit scar tissue here, but this is nice and smooth compared to this. Feel that? Uh -huh. It's a lot of scar tissue here. And can you use another your shirt a little bit? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so it's around your pelvis. So our muscle should act like a rubber band. When it contracts you and relax, it should stretch like this. So when you have a scar tissue, it's like you have a knot in the rubber. You can look here. So our muscle should act like a rubber band when it contract and relax and does this. Okay. When you have a scar tissue, it's like you have a knot in the rubber band. So when your muscle contract, mm -hmm. it does not stretch. Okay. And that's going to get your pelvis up in alignment. It's going to pull it upward. Do you need more pillows? Uh, maybe uh, one more would help. Yeah. Uh, more uh, towels. Okay. And just uh, fold it more. That should be okay. Like and towel will fit you Okay, that's good. So you feel that here? Mm -hmm. So what was scar tissue in here? In here. Feel it? Mm -hmm. And you can hear a little bit of the uh, scar tissue here. And so that's uh, up here too. Um, did you say you have a hamstring issue? Yes. Okay. Is it okay to work on your legs? Yep. Yeah. Okay, roll your shorts up. Okay. 
Let me see what's going on here. Man, you're tight. I know. You feel that? I do. So you're really tight. Which one is worse, left or right? The right. Not surprised. It feels actually tighter, a lot tighter, the right side. In here, you feel that? Yeah. Yeah. You have a high pain tolerance, yeah? Right, right. Pain tolerance. Yeah. Don't feel cold again. You hear that? Mm -hmm. Super <laughs> Yeah, that's a lot of scar tissue here. And here around your... Uh, you know, the dog bite? Is it too much or is it okay? It's okay. It's so, a little bit, it was a lot at first, but it's all good. But can you tell the difference between this here too, and that's crunchy too, and when we compare it to your back here, how nice and smooth? Yep. You know, sounds. Hear sounds. Yeah, with the tools, it's actually, you can hear, you can feel the vibration, and you can see the redness where the scar tissue. Um, okay, so let me clean that. And we want you to to set up and tell me how much uh, your constant pain is. Because you were saying you had six out of ten constant pain, so how much is now? How do you feel? When I sit down, huh? Mm -hmm. I actually feel pretty good. Zero to ten? Um, I don't really feel much pain at, at the moment. Okay. Let's, um, I will have you actually stand up. Okay. okay. See how far you can go down? How's that? I feel like I'm a little further. You are going down further. You are going down further. I feel like there's it's more tightness down in the calves than in the hamstrings. Because I did not work on the calf. Yeah. So it's in the calf, yeah? Yeah. But any pain, any discomfort with that? Because you said it was eight. No, I feel a lot better already. Weird. All right. Yeah. yeah. So let's actually in the same position. Wow, that's crazy. Yeah. I do feel results. Yeah, that's good. Well, 80 per... We had a study and 83% of the patient that uh, went through the study, they okay. had significant pain relief in the first treatment. Just first treatment. I think every chiropractor needs to come to you. <laughs> yeah. I teach a lot of chiropractor, physical therapist, massage therapist. I'm sure this is not painful. It's all right. Okay. Okay. You're gonna feel cold, okay? Okay. okay. Oh, what's your phone? So it's so which calf you feel it more, left or right? Oh, for the tightness, um, mm -hmm. to be honest, they're about the same. Okay. You feel how? Okay. Sorry, is that too much? Uh, a little bit. Sorry. Sorry. Here's a little bit there. It's okay though. Here. Here. I think 
think the left one probably hurt a little more than the right one. Yeah. You hear that? Yeah. I don't know if you can hear it in the camera, oh. but that's loud. And here. Here. So, feel that? Mm -hmm. Man. All right, we'll get some work to do. Do you have any foot issue? Uh, not so much, okay. not really. Okay. That's good. Besides having flat feet, but it's fine. <laughs> okay. So, I want you to sit again and tell me how that feel. And I will help you after sitting, because you sit with that position, you feel it. The back pain, how much from any pain? No, not really. Okay. So, okay. you know, and see how that. Take her a little bit further. Okay. Where do you feel the tightness now? Uh, it's still the calves. It's in your calves? Yeah. Okay, this is a stand up and just do that. Turn around and tell me how that feels. You just feel tightness, not pain. Did you say go backwards or turn around? Well, you can do all the range of motion that you've been doing. Uh, side bending, you were complaining of that. Yeah. Twisting. Okay, twist. How's that? You're really moving faster now. Definitely moving faster. I think. Mm -hmm. Oops. I try to show off. <laughs> That's good. Like move farther, so. Yeah. So let's actually have a seat here. Okay. I'm gonna do a couple of things. It's not a concern for me the calf tightness. Mm -hmm. I just want to try to get you more range of motion. Okay. Um, because you had it for a very long time, the restriction. Um, it might take us a few sessions to really get the range of motion. If I can get more now, that's great. If not, we'll work on it more next time. But uh, the main concern that I'm actually, I think you're doing, is just relax. Yeah. Make sure that's not painful. No, it's not. Okay, line your back. Okay. Okay. Hold, hold your legs in. Okay, hold in. In, in, in. And relax, push, push down, push down, push down, push down. And relax. I need to fix this. Okay, okay push my hand down, push, push, push. And relax, and don't push, push. Relax, and push. Relax. Relax. Okay, stand up. Okay, do me a favor. Ten times, back and forth. No, 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 not backwards. Okay. Just bending forward and up. If you feel your body can can go further, go ahead. I think probably because you did not do it for a very long time, so you really we need to re-educate your nervous system. This is okay to do it. Let me know if you feel any pain. I'm going to stop once I feel the pain. Okay. Are you counting? I think that was 10. Or if you're not 10. counting, we're going to do 200, okay? Uh, Mark on your legs. That's good, yeah. So you, you gained like a few inches. So how you feel like your back and... Turn around, flexibility-wise. I mean, honestly, I feel, I feel pretty good. No pain? I mean, I feel better than I did when I walked in. Yeah, that's good. So, can you tell the difference between Aster treatment and what you had before? Well, yes, because before it was just adjusting the spine and then that was it, you know. Mm -hmm. Now, they're actually, you're getting to the core, you're getting to the muscle, and mm -hmm. you're getting to the root of my problem. All right, awesome. Yeah. Feel free to subscribe to my channel to get helpful tips on how to relieve pain. And if you are a healthcare provider and interested to be ASTER certified, uh, you can follow the link below. Uh, you will get information on how to register for ASTER online class. Uh, there is over uh, 40 studies that support ASTER treatment model. And also there is uh, over uh, 400 studies that utilize by ASTER treatment. And feel free to check over more over 220 videos that most of them actually real treatment videos. Uh, we'll see you soon.